to YouTube or not to YouTube? That is uh, the question. POV or me editing. Welcome to my studio space. That's what this is. Um, All of this is shit. I've built most of it. I've built. I'm not the computer. None of this. None of this. Um, this built. Shelves built. Bought but built onto the wall. Shelves built. Shelves. Chalkboard built. Chalkboard built. Huh? Not bad. Um, why is this a big deal? I've never built shit ever. I've never. I've never built anything ever. Um, truly, it was. Uh, yeah, a life of. Um, it looks like you work. But your hands are as soft as the baby's butts that you touch. <laughs> can, can you stand in frame? I was soft hand stunning. Now I'm studio stunning. And that's the key difference here. Um, why did I start off by saying, what does Studio Sonic do? Um, studio Sonic adds to the studio, essentially. Not all. I edit video and make video and photos and edit photos. All the, all the god, gosh dang time, okay? I don't know, I haven't decided whether or not I'm gonna swear on YouTube yet. And um, so that's where we're at, probably not. I've been making stuff, and right now I'm gonna make the decision to cut to a closer angle. Still rolling? Okay. I don't remember where I was, what I was saying. Man, this sucks. Uh, video, making videos doesn't suck. I love making videos. This whole like, what sucks is like this whole um, desire to exist on YouTube with my, with my stupid face. Listen, I know I'm a decent looking fella and I got a good voice. Every woman over the age of 70 tells me. But um, I just like to participate and I like to, you know, I'm competitive, I'm competitive. And I have been in this studio space, um, building it up. And while doing so, watching a lot of YouTube, including people that build things, hence the competitive drive to then build something. Van Neistat is basically it. And then Tom Sachs, this, this white, this color white is Decorator's White, which um, is the, uh, is that gonna focus? There we go, baby. Uh, that's, this is, the, this is the, the exact shade of white that they use in that studio. It doesn't really add to my life much. But I like knowing that. I like knowing that. I paint things. This is a block of what I found out by the fence of my farming property. So I'm competitive and, and I want to exist in this space. Um, and I'm like, oh, well, you're already making videos all the time. You might as well just fold in your own edit. Well, that's great and all. If the list of work to edit of which is not my own creativity, but creativity in partnership with others. That list just keeps getting longer because I'm blessed. But, you know, I do this all day. Why would I do it for fun? And I'm, and I'm not really doing it for fun. So I got to stop looking at it like that. The woodworking's fun. Um, I can saw anything because I have a saw. And I bet you're wondering what, which, which of the things that I've made so far is my favorite. And I'll tell you, it's my light saw. This is a, a saw with a light on it. Because um, the light's magnet, and I made it four minutes ago. That's fun and dangerous. Um, <laughs> but now I can, like, I can go vlog and be on, you know, just be on guard at the same time. And what an exciting proposition. Um, I can't, I'm really fucking with this light, actually. I like that a lot. So, me and my light saw are gonna talk to you now. Um, this is really good for like, and that's when he started to reflect. Can't look straight into that. Um, I love the light saw. I like, I do like this little cute little holder thing. This is a lot of fun. <sighs> what is this video about? Am I just gonna give a tour? This is why, I, this is why people script. I know this is why people script. I, I can't script. I don't wanna. <clears throat> nice. Um, Studio Stonic has become a lifestyle, uh, for sure. I'm, uh, yesterday I, I changed a tire and, and then went and got a new tire and I've just, that's, I, I did it like unthinkingly, which I, I know I'm 31 years old. I should have done that a long time ago. 
I didn't, though. That's the point. And now I finally am. And that is like really the benefit of the studio. It's like I, ha I finally have the space to grow. I have the space to grow. That's really been the best part. Um, this video doesn't make any sense. But only that, it's helped. It's helped with. Um, it's helped when I'm on the job. When I'm like, like going to film something. I was at a wedding on Saturday, filming the wedding, and there's there is a traditional thing that they were getting married beneath. I think it was a hopa, as a Jewish tradition. I think. I think. We'll Google that. Um, Jewish tradition, and um, there was four poles. And uh, they, uh, the middle of it would not stay up. It couldn't, they couldn't make it taut enough. It was just gonna sag on top of the officiant's head and kind of like make the whole energy of the ceremony um, sadder than it ought to have been. Um, sadder than the couple deserved. And I was like, okay, I got poles and, and tape and little uh, uh, cables in my car. Let's figure this out. And we rigged this whole thing with a pole in the back, which we covered with the flower arrangement. And then we put <clears throat> um, a pole suspended in the middle of, like in the, uh, on top of the, on that pole in the back, we put another pole like this. It was kind of like a seesaw thing, so it balanced. We, then we angled it upwards. And then that top part boosted the middle of the um, cloth up and it stayed and it ruled. And I like make sure like to cover like the pole with white tape and it looked, no one could tell except for the people that were trying to set it up and the couple because they were witnessing it as well. And it just felt good to be handy. It felt good to like uh, add to, to a solution rather than just call out an issue. Um, Cause I'm really good at that. Really good at that. Like like, I'll, I'll, call, I'll call out like, you know what, I love to just call out the, the lack of a point of a YouTube video that I'm making. Um, but it feels good to like solve some stuff. And yeah, I, I gotta like, I gotta make some stuff. I gotta, I gotta make these YouTube videos because um, I don't really have a, a, t a ton of like, inst I have instinct to journal, but, and I, this is a running theme on these videos, but like, this is, this is gonna, this is like the weekly check and this is the journal. Um, I used to write like every day, like just uh, my hand, you know, long hand form, the artist way. This book, this book right here is um, the best. It uh, is what I credit with like why I am the artist that I am today. And um, one of the things that gets you doing right away is to uh, long form, handwritten journal entries every morning. First thing you do when you wake up and uh, yeah, it really gets a lot out of the system because about a page and a half in, you're like, I don't know what to write about anymore. This is stupid. And then you follow that. You follow that line. This is stupid. Why do I think it's stupid? X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, X, Y. All of a sudden, three pages is there and, and, you know, 40 minutes has gone by and you've just been journaling. And I miss that. I, I, I Maybe I'll do that right after this. I know I won't. But um, eventually I will. And this, this, uh, this is an act of uh, keeping record of the days and the weeks as they go by because they're going by quick. And um, I like, without it, without without the reflection, I, I, I have lost my ability to notice patterns. And the patterns are in the identification um, and the, uh, and the uh, assessment of patterns, that's how I grow. Uh, it, it's whether a, a leaning into that, those patterns and the continuation and the, um, with more drive behind them as like a realizing oh, this is what I love doing more than anything. Or on the flip side, like recognizing a negative pattern in my life is uh, the only way to like sometimes treat myself how I deserve to be treated or um, make sure the other people around me are treating me how I deserve to be treated. And um, yeah, very important things, those, what I just said. Uh, have I felt the, that lacking in my life a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. But who could blame me? I've been busy building this studio. I'm excited. I wanna make everything, you know? I don't wanna, the only thing I wanna buy is the things I need to make something. And it's a little scary because, um, I don't know if you've ever, you know, if you're watching this far, you've probably made some stuff and you've also thought, what is the point? And that's totally fair. And then where my mind goes as a, as a man who doesn't know that he's not fertile 
I don't know if I want to make a baby or not now. I was always very like, I don't want kids. And now I'm thinking, man, where's my son? I have these hammers and these nails. I'm using them. Where is my son to watch me do this? And it's like, it's done. It's like, I don't need to be thinking about that, but I am. Uh, and that is why I gotta be journaling now more than ever, because that kind of thinking will make some rash decisions possible real quick. These, these this studio, these are the only guts I'm trying to bust in. God, I'm not, I'm, I'm not even gonna try to like wrap it up well with a little bow. Also, if you do subscribe to this channel, you you will watch a man attempt to script a video next time. I, I could promise you. Sorry, yeah, top of the world. Top of the world.